The James Webb Space Telescope team is still working through the 17 science instrument modes. This week, they checked off the Near-Cam Grissom Time Series and Imaging Time Series, both of which are used to study exoplanets and other time-variable sources. Nyris Apture Masking Inframetry Mode for direct detection of a faint object that is very close to a bright one. Iris Wide Field Slitless Spectroscopy for studying distant galaxies and near-spec bright object time series. So far, seven modes have been approved, with ten more to go. In an interview with Fizz.org, Webb's MIRI commissioning team stated, The MIRI Medium Resolution Spectrometer is one of Webb's most complex instrument modes, MRS. The MRS is an integral field spectrograph that provides spectral and spatial information for the entire field of view at the same time. The spectrograph generates three-dimensional data cubes in which each pixel in an image has its own spectrum. Because they combine the benefits of traditional imaging and spectroscopy, such spectrographs are extremely powerful tools for studying the composition and kinematics of astronomical objects. The MRS is intended to have a spectral resolving power of around 3,000 observed wavelength divided by the smallest detectable wavelength difference that is sufficient to resolve key atomic and molecular features in a wide range of environments. The MRS will be able to study hydrogen emissions from the first galaxies at the highest redshifts. It will probe molecular hydrocarbon features in dusty nearby galaxies and detect the bright spectral fingerprints of elements such as oxygen, argon, and neon that can tell us about the properties of ionized gas in the interstellar medium at lower redshifts. Closer to home, the MRS will create maps of spectral features caused by water ice and simple organic molecules in our solar system's giant planets and planet-forming disks around other stars. Once the spatial alignment and image quality of the several bands are well characterized, the MIRI team will prioritize calibrating the spectroscopic response of the instrument. This step will include determining the wavelength solution and spectral resolution throughout each of the 12 fields of view using observation of compact emission line objects and diffuse planetary nebulae ejected by dying stars. We show the exceptional spectrum resolving power of the MRS with a small segment of a spectrum obtained by the recent engineering observations of the active galactic nucleus at the core of Seyfert Galaxy NGC 6552. Once these basic instrument characteristics are established, it will be possible to calibrate MRS so that it will be ready to support the wealth of Cycle 1 science programs due to start in a few short weeks. If you want to learn more about space and stay on top of astronomy news and updates, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.